Alright guys, today is the day. It is the premiere of season 14, Criminal Minds episode 1, and I'm very excited. I don't know if you know or not, but this is one of my favorite shows of all time, and I went on hyperdrive this morning. I even bought the season pass on iTunes, and I normally never do that, but I'm just like, I'm gonna buy them anyway, so I might as well just buy it now. Um, that way I don't have to worry about it. And, let's see if this is done downloading yet. Oh, this is like the longest two minutes, five minutes of my life, guys. It's been telling me, like, the past ten minutes that it's been ready for, it'll be ready in five minutes, and it's not. And it's been lying to me. So, I'm very eager, and I tried to remain impartial, but there's been people throughout the day that I follow that has been posting stuff, and thankfully... When I did see that, my sound was off on my, um, earphones, so I don't, I didn't really hear anything, I kinda just saw it. Okay guys, it's like 76 seconds, I'm like a little kid in a candy store right now. Um, but thoughts about last season. I mean, at the end of last season, I was already kinda sitting there like, what the fuck, no. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how they take this. Um, I was, I'm very hope. I'm, I mean, I know no one's really gonna die, cause what is Criminal Minds without reading Garcia? Now, come on. Um, but it's just, I don't know, this is like the closest we've come to losing people that actually matter <laughs> in the show. Um, I'm not saying Hotch didn't matter though, cause I loved Hotch and I personally feel like he should be brought back on because the show could go so much farther with Hotch on there and everything but as far as characters go I'm sorry I as far as Stephen Walker goes from last season I didn't particularly like him but it was sad to see his character die the way he did but at least he died protecting his team and you know doing what he loved and catching the bad guys and they helped he helped him catch scratch so that's good um but as far as last season goes, as for premieres, I mean, I don't know how this is gonna go, cause, oh, my camera's being, okay, my camera almost fell down, but, as far as season premieres go for last season, uh, I believe, I don't even think I was five minutes into the season premiere last, for season 13 when I started swearing, <laughs> and it's gonna be interesting to see how they start this one off, I heard some things of how they'd done it, but again, I tried to stay impartial, so I, like, turned off Twitter notifications, and I turned off, um, I turned off Twitter notifications, and I stayed off Instagram, um, problem was my Instagram was kind of like, let's just play this person's thing, and I'm like, oh no, no, I got this, so I saw some parts of it, but I didn't get to see the whole thing, so it was good, okay, guys, it's finally done downloading, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Where'd it go? Okay. My body is ready, but my mind is not ready. You, you know what I mean? Okay. Previously on Criminal Minds. That's Agent Owen Quinn. He worked here until quite a year ago. He was convinced it was an unsung witness working up and down the northeast corridor. He named him the Strangler. Theo, you said that he treated you like a human. He would feed me sometimes. You found something that we missed. What was it? Highway phones. The Strangler removed these from the necks of his victims and kept them as trophies. I'm Special Agent Meadows in Vicamp. Bitch. Bitch. Don't trust you as far as I can throw you. My father didn't kill them. He abducted them and then he handed them over to the Messiah. Don't you see? This isn't one serial killer or a couple. It's a cult. Okay, at least JJ realized that someone, like, okay, at least JJ realized that no one was answering their phones and everything. JJ saves the day, man. Okay. But just to go from what we've seen so far, oh, they were all so young, and they were all so, like, impressionable. Rossi had black hair, and, hmm. You know, the most people that haven't changed was Tara, Luke, and Matt, but I mean, come on, you couldn't give Matt his own introduction? Come on. Okay. Continuing. Uh, I, I talked to Spence for like a second before we got disconnected. Uh, try the guard gate. Still busy. Still busy. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. No. Okay, who's gonna be this person on the ground that they're gonna find? 
I need to find out who this is. Oh, they're gonna find Quinn. Oh, they're gonna find Quinn's body, right? Quinn, he's still alive. Oh, he's still alive. Uh oh. Um. Okay, so there's blood on the floor, and I'm. There's the tire tracks, and then there's blood on the floor, and I'm like, whose blood is that? I'm probably sure it's Reed's. I'm pretty sure it's Reed's. But, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, sorry, I just have to stop and pause there. Okay, keep, keep, keep going on. But like I said, I'm not too worried, because they can't kill him off, because there's nothing, like, you just can't kill off anyone at this point. It's like one of those cats where it's just like, no, you just can't anymore, you know? Okay, I'm ready. As can be. That is the, that is the operative word. Bitch. I'm just gonna say bitch every time I see her because she's just that's what she is to me. <laughs> I underestimated how much she cares about you. She's giving me everything I need. Because we're a family and you do anything to protect those you love. Honey. You say that as if I wouldn't know. You've abducted us, you've tricked the FBI for years, and you worship that Benjamin Murphy guy, so I'm sorry, forgive me for thinking you wouldn't get it. As it turns out, this cult has killed more than seven. How many? 299. Damn. See, it sucks though, because everything bad happens to Spencer. Garcia, the believers have declared war on the BAU. So this has got to be working toward their endgame. One that could make either Reed or Garcia their 300th victim, perhaps their last. Garcia wasn't a part of this. She was just racing to the elevator. So it's Spence. It's been him all along. He's a protector. It fits the victimology. Reed has to know something we don't. Ben's believers. Reed could have told us anything, but he chose that. What's wrong with you? Didn't think you'd be so judging. It's good versus evil, dummy. It's pretty simple. <laughs> I love her tongue, even though she's being called hostage. Like, sure it's simple, dummy. Well, uh, Spence, Spence got us good tickets. Spence got us good tickets. Actually, Gideon, Gideon gave them to Oh, their first date. Him and asked me to go. Date. So then I just figured all the youngest team members should hang out, so I, of course, asked. Garcia to come <laughs> Well, turns out Morgan and Hodge were giving him pointers on his side thinking he's gonna be a date. Gosh, I mean he'd never been on one before. Uh, poor Spence, he didn't know what to do. But I'm just glad he gave Uh oh. I don't know how to do this for comfort. If I Okay, that was kind of heartbreaking. I, there, no tears, obviously, no tears, but that was kind of heartbreaking. But I mean, I, I mean, obviously, if you lose your best friends in a job, you know, oh, especially that way, because you would lose them forever. But you know, it's just. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, she'd have everyone else, but it's not the same, you know. Uh, but it's okay because everyone feels the same way, and they're all gonna save him. It's gonna be okay. But that was just sad. Continuing. Get this. Benjamin David Mervo was born David James Mervo. I mean, if he wanted to create a new identity, why keep it so close to the real name? Well, adding an Old Testament name like Benjamin makes sense as we're dealing with a cult. 
That's why. Oh my god. The Cyrus guy. No wonder they were talking about they were bringing back Benjamin Cyrus. Oh my god. Benjamin Cyrus. It makes sense. It makes sense. Oh my god. No wonder. Okay. Okay. I kind of just put it together. Let's see if I'm right. Or let's see if I'm wrong. I hope I'm right though. Then through something strange, Theo and his parents lived off the grid in Colorado until 09. And then in I was right. I'm calling it right now. I was right. I'm getting chicken skin right now, just thinking about that. Just hearing that thing in the Colorado and Benjamin. I was like, oh my gosh, my I'm chicken skinning. I'm chicken skinning. I'm literally chicken skinning. Okay, back to the episode. Liberty Ranch in Colorado. Polygamous leader Benjamin Cyrus. Merva was there. So it was Meadows. She must have been one of Cyrus's wives. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I was kind of wrong, believers. but... Benjamin Cyrus and Benjamin Merva are connected. And this is the payback for Cyrus's <coughs> death. So you're telling me all this was because Cyrus died? Really? It could have been, like, any other killer. And they pick Cyrus? It's like freaking what it's the new Harry Potter book with Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and they picked out of all the characters they could base the book around. They based it about Cedric Diggory and how if Cedric Diggory didn't die like he was supposed to, then everything would happen. And it's like of all the characters you pick Cedric Diggory. It's the same thing here. It's like all the freaking criminals you could have picked that had more. I don't know, like a psychological effect on people? You're gonna pick Cyrus? I... I just don't understand. I mean... If anything, wouldn't you go for Emily? If that was the reason? I don't know. I mean, they're both, like... Maybe they figured Emily suffered when she got beat up by Cyrus? I have no idea. But I'm just like, why? I mean, of all the people... Okay, I'm... Enough for end, end of the rant. End of the rant. Back to the thing. Yes! You ran her over! Go, Garcia! She ran her over! I'm so proud. Probably like the worst thing to be proud about, but I'm proud. I mean, that's like so on Garcia. Unlike Garcia, I'm proud. Washington field office has started searches in Maryland. We'll take the lead in Virginia. <gasps> yes! Oh they God, found her! Hurt? Okay, well, so Garcia got there. Hillcrest, 18 minutes. I can take you there. You gotta hurry. They hurt me. He's been bleeding there. I'm trucks with Theo. I heard a gunshot. Okay, they can't kill off Reed. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. They can't kill off Reed. They can't. They can't. I'm saying it right now. Hopefully it's not Theo, though, because that would be really sad, too. But I... Mm, I'm gonna say it's Theo. Yeah, it's Theo. Okay, yeah, it's Theo. Oh man, that sucks. Dude, she didn't die! Like, she got run over by a car and she didn't die? Locked away with those you've been chasing. You come out of that different. He said it all happens at 10.23, but it's past that. So what did he mean? Could be a clue here. They got sloppy since they left in a hurry. Okay, well, you can't. Okay, they're Bible right people. Now. I know, but what is 1023? Access to three major highways, and we don't know which way they went. Because God wants to save you. I mean, that's why He sent you here. That's the reason. Reed. Reed. He's ignoring us. What the fuck? Okay, that went from just like he's ignoring us to like putting a knife to your throat. What the okay, I mean, I mean, I know they're evil people, but I'm just like, how did it get from there to there? I don't understand. <laughs> that was like from like zero to a hundred. Great work, Garcia. We'll get in the air, narrow down which city before we land. We should also circle back to the religious component that Cyrus brought to the cult. Reed and Cyrus quoted scripture a lot. Honestly, they didn't look check to look 1023 in any of the freaking scriptures. 
Okay. 1023 could be a lesson. Thank you, Emily. Just prove my point. But then again, we don't have like a script, like a Mark 1023 or John 1023, so it doesn't really matter from my point of view because I was still kind of wrong because there's no like actual name. But still, I thought it was something biblical. I was like, it's Cyrus. If as soon as I figured out it was Cyrus, I was like, it has to be something biblical. It's Cyrus. But hey, guys, listen to this. Matthew chapter 10, verse 23. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. That's how 300 fits. That was the number of angels that protected the Garden of Eden. Are there any Edens in Kentucky? Uh, no. But there are two synonyms, Canaan and Arcadia. Which one's closer to where Cyrus was born? Arcadia. Okay, that's where they're going. Garcia, pull land deeds, I'll notify SWAT. They were protectors, but you see me as your enemy. No, oh, you see you as the bravest of them all. So technically they chose Reed because he's like a, like the bravest freaking angel of them all. How ironic. During the raid, Cyrus gave you many chances to leave, but you chose to stand beside him. He admired you and he told us so. He didn't see you as the others, he saw you as a great one. It's like God chose you to survive. But I've always had a hard time saying what I feel like. Can Reed and Prentice be a because thing? I'm afraid of being disappointed. But I've never said how much I love all of you. Oh, baby. I was gonna be like, That's I thought he was gonna. Family. Totally thought he was gonna well, already know. tell Prentice that he liked her. So, thoughts of the episode? I actually. I'm happy that I chose to stay impartial. It was nice to have that surprise. Um, didn't go where I thought it was gonna go, but I kind of was right. There was a scripture involved. I was, I was right when that was like this is Ben. This is where Benjamin Cyrus was involved. I just I was totally wrong with how it was going though. But that was pretty good. Not gonna lie. Mm. I loved how Emily was the one that shot him, though. I was like, I'm protecting my own. Boom, boom, done, bye. But, um... I liked it. It was... It was good. And, I mean, I think there could have been some parts that were, like, could be changed a little bit, but I wouldn't change too much. Um, mostly, I mean, if anything, I would probably, like, add parts to it, but I don't think anyone would like to sit there and watch, like, a two-hour thing <laughs> with me. But... I mean, that was pretty good. For a first episode, it was like, it caught your attention, you know. Uh, I totally thought at the end that Reed was going to tell Prentice that he liked her, but I was like, can this be a thing? Because they would be kind of, I mean, it'd be kind of weird, honestly, because Prentice is up there in age and Reed is like down there in age, but love has no boundaries. Um, this episode was just filled with such, like, so much flashbacks and so much of, you know, how they were in the beginning, which was kind of nice, which, but I mean, it's kind of like, I hope it's not foreshadowing this is the end of Criminal Minds. I mean, I've heard a lot of rumors that it might be the end, and if it is, it is, but I mean, I love the show. I would keep it going. If Grey's Anatomy can go 15 seasons, why can't Criminal Minds? You know, but we'll see. But yeah, all around thoughts on the episode, I thought it was quite good compared to some previous seasons. Cough, cough, season six. <laughs> <laughs> which really wasn't my favorite season because of the whole like getting rid of JJ thing um but yeah uh they got her back which is which was a smart decision obviously um but yeah overall this is really good and I can't wait to see what the rest of the season brings um I know that I'm looking forward to the episode that AJ directs, not sure which one it's going to be, but I'm sure whichever one she has, it'll be great. Um, but yeah. The only other question that I had was pretty much from the, the show that they had done earlier, the talk, or whatever. I was like, they were like, the cast did prom, and I'm saying there, I'm like, but where's Adam Rodriguez? <laughs> That was my main question. I was like, yes, it's the cast of Criminal Minds, minus, you know, 
Adam Rodriguez, who plays Luke. I mean, how can you have it without Luke? But then, I guess this way it worked out because everyone had a partner for prom. But, I mean, hey. I just... I was like, I felt bad. I was like, oh, everyone's getting together and he's not there. But, I mean, he probably had, like, another show or something being filmed or whatever. But, that was my main question. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. This is something that I don't really do. It's something that I just tried out. Um, but maybe doing more of these would be good, too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe I'll do more videos like this in the future, for sure. Um, but yeah, thank you for following me on this long, almost hour journey, if you've made it this far into the video. And see you next time. Bye-bye.